it's noon time, so I thank all assembled members of the media, members of our Hastings College staff and faculty, assorted friends of the basketball program of Hastings College. I thank everybody for being here today. I very much am appreciative to be able to announce Todd Reardon, who's our new men's basketball coach, originally from McCook, Nebraska, uh, and time here at Hastings College, and then in the school to a little bit to the east as a coach, a lot of connections to the state and to the area. Uh, during Todd's time here at Hastings College, played under legendary coach Lynn Farrell, uh, member of teams that won four conference championships, were 96 and 21, and had 20 plus wins every season. Uh, after that winning there, he went over to Nebraska Wesley as assistant coach and then head coach, where he won six conference titles and had seven championship appearances, including making it to the NCAA Division III final in 1997. Following his time in Lincoln, he went to North Central College in Naperville, Illinois, where he's won three regular season championships, five tournament titles, and the very competitive Collegiate Conference of Illinois and Wisconsin, the CCIW, and made it to eight national tournaments. So he met the team yesterday, and we're very fortunate to have him kind of unveiled to the rest of the world today. So ladies and gentlemen, I bring to you new Hastings College head men's basketball coach, Todd Rarity. Thank you all. I, I appreciate everybody being here. I really do. And um, it, it's great to be back to Hastings. Uh, it means a lot uh, coming home. So uh, before I start, I do want to thank uh, Dr. Rich Lloyd, the uh, executive president. I want to thank uh, uh, BJ Pumroy, our athletic director. I want to thank uh, Gary Freeman the uh, executive director of the Hastings College Foundation. And then I also want to thank uh, Mike Trader, the associate uh, vice president of athletic development. And uh, uh, I think he had some more titles added onto there, but I couldn't read them. I couldn't get them on the paper. So but they, those four guys are extremely instrumental uh, for me being here. Uh, it, it's something that I can't thank them enough. They have given me the opportunity to coach Hastings College basketball. And I'm extremely excited uh, to be here. Uh, I want to thank everybody that, that came out to, in, in support of, uh, uh, of the athletic program and the men's basketball in general. Uh, I, I want to uh, also thank the people that, uh, you know, anybody online, the text messages, the emails that I have received in the last couple days have been outstanding. And, uh, you know, I'll try to get back to everybody. I've tried to do as many as I can, but it means a lot personally to me. And uh, just so you know, uh, my family, uh, my wife is still back in Illinois, Naperville. Uh, she should be here sometime this summer, I believe. I mean, it's kind of a one-man crew right now, but she's finishing up back in, in uh, that area. Uh, we've been married 35 years, and she's been great. <laughs> so, uh, if you've ever gone into coaching, you know you have to have a terrific spouse, and she is absolutely fantastic. Uh, I have an older son that's in uh, Texas. He has our three grandkids. Uh, they all are, did, they were signed up for North Central. They committed, they decommitted yesterday. <laughs> they are now committed to Hastings College. Uh, the youngest one, or the oldest one, is turning six tomorrow, so do the math uh, for when, he, when he's going to show up here. Um, yeah, he has three, the three are there, and then his wife, Brianna, and then uh, my other two sons, my middle son, Derek, is in Naperville, and so is uh, my son, uh, Connor. I was fortunate, uh, all three played for me. And uh, again, in coaching, that means a lot. It means a great deal for all of us, and it meant a lot for me, too. Um, one of the things that I, I guess people ask why, you know, why Hastings? You know, why here? And, uh, I think when we got when we started talking about this, uh, it was a little bit during the my season, and, and just kind of threw it out there, and I, I really wasn't paying that much attention to it. I think I probably said yeah, it might be, and but I, I was too focused on what was going on. And then as the season, you know, I got into the conference tournament, and then there was another call, and I said, well, I, let me finish up my conference season. I'm right in the middle of this, I can't do anything about it. We're right in the tr conference tournament. We, we got to the conference, 
finals. Unfortunately, we got beat. The team that beat us actually ended up second in the country in Division Three. So that tells you about our conference. Um, but then about a week, week and a half later, it was uh, more serious. And uh, when I came out of here, the people I met, absolutely fantastic. Uh, absolutely fantastic people. And they were, it was, I remember it, uh, you know, I think when you're away from it, you don't appreciate it. And when I got, had a chance to get back here and talk to the people, I mean, it's it just, you know, I, I can't express my gratitude enough for those people. It, it's, you know, I, I grew up in McCook, as uh, Coach said, went to school here, and, and same people there that are on this campus, in this community, and, and I, I think that sold me. Uh, the uh, administration definitely sold me on, on this place, and I, I really appreciate it. Uh, I know last night I drove around with Mark Bliss, uh, took me around and showed me some places, and, and, and the town has grown uh, as far as new buildings re redone, but the people have it, and that, that's a special place uh, and I want, uh, you know, I can't say enough about Hastings and the community and the college. So uh, I thank them uh, immensely. Uh, I do want to thank North Central. Excuse me. Uh, 18 years there. Um, meant a lot to me. And I, I'll miss my staff, my players. Uh, it was it was really a great run, and I'll miss them. But I want to thank them. Uh, I love them. I want to thank them uh, for all they've done. But it, it's something that I felt like this challenge is, is for the best for me and my family. And uh, it, it has this this college has such a rich tradition of basketball history, and they've had great coaches. Uh, you know, it starts with Lynn Farrell. I can't go back further than that, but it starts with Doc. Uh, it goes to Mike Trader. It goes to Lance Creech. It goes to Bill Gavers. Uh, all of them, uh, re well-respected coaches uh, across the country. And I'm just lucky to be following those guys. And I just hope that we can continue to keep this tradition, raise the tradition, if you will, uh, of Hastings College basketball. Uh, you know, it's something that um, I guess my goal is, my goal every year is to win the conference championship because I know that if we can win the conference championship, we are going to win the national title. And that's my goal every year. That's our goal uh, as a team as well. Um, it, to do this, though, it's going to take a lot of help uh, from everybody uh, and, and people here. I know I've talked to a couple uh, – Friends of mine were just recently about hey if, you know if you can help us with kids or whatever I mean it all boils down to getting quality kids and I, I expect to get quality kids here and, and that's what it's all about that's how uh, I built our programs My, our programs uh, the, it's going to take a lot of work but it's well worth it and, and the kids you know I met with them yesterday and I told them that everybody has a fresh start. Uh, I have a fresh start, the players have a fresh start, so I'm excited to get to work, I guess, and uh, see what we have out there, but we also have to bring in quality kids as well, and it's going to take their work ethic. I, I, I harp on work ethic all the time that, you know, you're working hard, but so is everybody else in this conference, so is everybody else in the country, so we have to outwork people. I expect us to outwork people. Just, uh, I don't want to bore you with anything else other than, you know, our philosophy-wise offensively, we want to push the basketball, but we want to take quality shots. I, I'm big on quality shots. I, uh, you know, we can always get a bad shot with two seconds left uh, on the cl shot clock. We want to take the best shot we can. We want to, you know, push, but we, you know, one on three is not great. Those aren't great odds. Two, on, uh, three on two, those are great odds. So that's what we're looking for. And. Uh, Defensively, we want to be really, really good in the half-court defense. That, that's what I, I don't press a whole lot, uh, but I think that they can't, you know, if we can just keep them uh, from getting to the rim, keep them from getting offensive rebounds, and we can do that and we can go, then I think we'll be 
you know, we'll have a chance at the very end. And that's that's all I can ask for our kids is give us a chance at the end to win the game. And so uh, I expect them to work hard. Uh, I know my staff. I know myself. We're going to work, work extremely hard. And uh, I'm really looking for the challenge. And again, I thank everybody for uh, being here today. So any questions for me? Alums or anything? Let's start, Vegas. We'll start with the media on the questions, then we'll work okay. right after that. Awesome. <clears throat> Just talk about it. at this point of your life, but why did you think? Uh, why did you take on this challenge to come back here and, and coach Hastings College? Uh, good question, and, and I, like I said before, I, I I love the challenge. I think it's a great opportunity for me in, in my stage right now, and. Uh, you know, I, I have a really good team coming back in, at North Central. I'm not going to deny that. But I think this is a special place for me. And it's got to be a special place for our kids, too, the, the players. Because it has been a special place. I, I guarantee the, the people that played in this building, at Kiewit Gym, it, it's special. And you can't ask for anything more than that. And, and they care about it. And I care about this program. Uh, it's our program now. I want our kids to, they, they have to buy into it. And they have to work at it to be, I mean, everybody here, I, I, I've seen people in here that have played. I know the work ethic they, they had, and they will continue to push, I think, our kids too. I, I mean, I want them to practice, I don't care if they come to practice, and I, I'll take advice anytime, <coughs> just don't call me in the middle of the night. <laughs> it is special, that's why. Coach, uh, was this, Something you were, were you looking for something else, or was it just kind of the right opportunity at the right time for you? I think it was the right time, right opportunity. I was not looking, no. I, I felt, um, but I also felt that, um, you know, uh, it, it, you know, being in Chicago land area is a little different, okay? And I've been there 18 years, and it's just a little different. And so, uh, it, I, if somebody waves, it's not it's, it's not a wave. <laughs> Here, and that was one of the first things. I mean, you drive by somebody, and they're they're waving to you. I mean, that's just it's fantastic. I mean, I forgot about how that was. And you talked yesterday. You were kind of driving around the city because you haven't been here in a while. What was it like driving around? And did you get any of that nostalgia as you were kind of driving through the city? Abs absolutely, absolutely. And you know, it has changed. Uh, I mean, there's. The downtown, the, the remodeling of buildings. Uh, this campus has changed. I mean, uh, just a new new facility, but there's some old ones too. Uh, you know, and when Coach sold, uh, showed the key web, other than it was gutted, I mean, I had a lot of memories coming back to that. Oh, so, yes, it was. Coach, conference championship at the GPAC is a pretty lofty goal. What will it take to be competing for that year in, year out? It's going to take a lot of hard work and, and great kids. They're going, I mean, the, the it does, you know, I run this or that, and, and what I run, if we can't run it, it's not going to matter. You know, if they, we can't find the kids that can do it. And uh, uh, so it's the players that make the, you know, make or break the program. It, it's, uh, you know, I'm just part, I'm just lucky to be part of it, really. And so it, it's a great conference, you're right. And, and my goal every year is to win it. And I don't, I mean, I just have high expectations. And I expect our kids to have, and I call them kids, uh, they're players, you know, and I expect them to have. Uh, high expectations too. Did you follow the GPAC from afar when you were? Oh, yeah. in? I follow Hastings College from afar all the time. I mean, I, I I have a keen interest in what goes on here as an alum, and uh, I think a lot of alums have that same interest. I mean, I'd be shocked if they don't. I mean, I've had guys I played with have reached out. And, and coach, a lot of coaches will talk about buying in. But for your new program, what does buying in look like for those players to you? Uh, hard work, being able to compete on the, on the floor. You know, the, like the, like I told him yesterday, this is time for you to get better right now. In the weight room, individual skill sets, uh, open gym time. You know, I, ex I expect our kids to play open gym five days a week. I mean, that's just an expectation they should have. I shouldn't have to tell them to do that. I expect them in the, in the weight room. Time. We have. Weight coaches, I mean, that's fantastic. The resources are here. And, uh, you know, they just have to uh, understand that it's, it's, it is going to be a lot for them. And 
Maybe they've had that too. I don't know, but I'll find out. Because I, I haven't, I, I've watched them on tape. I've watched some games on tape just over the last week or so. They have some good pieces, they really do. And uh, I mean, they were in a lot of close games that just didn't finish them. And we just have to find a way to get them to finish those games on a positive note. I, you're not going to find anybody in this room that hates losing more than me. So, uh, I mean, I just don't, I don't expect to lose. Uh, it happens, but unfortunately, uh, those are long nights. Sleep hey, shots. On the recruiting philosophy end of things, are you locally focused, national? Is there a certain type of kid that you want? What's your philosophy? I would like local. I would like Nebraska kids because they're, they're quality kids and they work hard. Uh, I, I've seen it. I saw it in Nebraska Wesleyan. Uh, nationally, I, I think it has to be a special kid, to be real honest with you, uh, to come to Hastings. Uh, I think you can get this done with Nebraska kids. Uh, I really do. I've seen it happen at Hastings College before. And so uh, there are some rural kids. I mean, some might be farm kids. Those are, I mean, they have a work ethic that's unmatched by anybody, you know. Uh, so I, I whether we reach out outside, I mean, the Lincoln Omaha area, so I think is important for us as well. I really do. I think that you have to have, you know, I, I always tell our kids, we want kids with good character, not characters. And so we have to be selective in this process and uh, the fit into what I want. And I, I may miss on a couple of kids. I, I'm not perfect. I, I have missed on kids before. I've lost good kids too in the past, unfortunately, because they, didn't really fit in with what we uh, the team concept. And it's got to be a team at both ends of the floor. And kind of as you go into this early starting stage of the of your career here, what is kind of those things that are priorities right now, right off the bat, for you to get done with the team? Well, right now is is to get them in the open gym. Uh, in fact, I think they were supposed to play today. I don't know if they're out there playing. They said they were going to play today. Uh, that's a good start for me. Um, the weight room is extremely important. Getting a great education, which, you know, going to class, getting to, uh, getting good grades, you know. As I told them yesterday, they, they can't take your education away from you. you get your education. Uh, the basketball is important, but it's not the end all. But uh, just be ready to go to work. I mean, I'm excited. I'd rather practice right now today if I could with these guys. Can you do that in NAI? Yeah, quite yet. PJ, where did this kind of recruiting of, of Coach Reardon uh, start with you? <clears throat> well, you know, when you look at when you're going to replace a coach, you look at if they're qualified alumni coaches out there and you kind of see where they're at in their stage of their career. And uh, knowing that reading bios online, you can kind of sometimes do some reconnaissance and say, you know, should this be somebody we approach? And no doubt with the stage of career and history of success, um, you kind of, you know, have your roundabout ways of trying to gauge some interest too. And uh, when we found out there was some interest, that it was, here's who we're going to target. And knowing that what has gone on in 30 plus years of being the head coach has been very positive. Um, they seem like the right person to make the first target towards. And, we put the effort into that and made sure that it could work both ways. And we've got our person to lead us into the future. So you did single out Coach Raritan first because of uh, the alum status, so that was a priority or experience? Or? It's, a, it's not so much a priority, but it's the first thing you look. Do you have someone who knows the program, who knows the history of success in dealing with those times and where they are in their career? You know, sometimes, uh, depending on stage of how long they've been at some place, sometimes it's too short of time. Sometimes it's this looks like they're there forever, and you know, paper look like well he's here forever, but you got to ask. And so, you know, just like a recruit, you may think that they're going to well, they think they're going to the University of Nebraska Lincoln, and then they think they're going to you know somewhere else, and it's like well you got to ask, find out where you're going, because I think you're pretty pretty darn good here. You know, same thing with coaches find out, you know, well, it looks like they're probably not interested, but you better find out. When we found out there was an interest, then it was time to say, here's why this would be a good fit, here's what we can do to make it happen. How many other people applied for this job or was it 
Todd targeted from the beginning? Or? We had an open application. It's it, We have probably 60 applicants in. Um, but before digging into that, I mean, his resume is going to beat him. Like flat out. There's no one else who's going to on paper beat his resume. Um, and, you know, it was an open search. It wasn't as if, you know, we opened it and knew who we had beforehand. It was, it's open, but when we kind of have our target, we're going to go after the target. And when the target said yes, we're done. Coach, a transition from Division Three to NAIA, there's some differences between that level, namely scholarships. What uh, do you need to do about your approach to handle the differences in those two levels? Well, obviously, I'd be more selective on giving who you're giving scholarships to. But I don't. Uh, I mean, I don't know if there's a huge difference. I mean, we were able to give grants to you know academic, just like they have here. We have here grants, uh, deep base grants. So I don't see it as a big difference. I mean, I, I, I competed in this conference, so I, the kids aren't any different at Division Three than they are in the I. I mean, there really isn't. Um, uh, it's nice to be able, though, to help finance some of these kids uh, a little bit more in the NAI level than maybe what you could. You know, if you can give uh, full tuition or close to, you know, it makes a big difference, you know, especially these, these days parents. It makes a huge difference for parents. You know, three or four thousand dollars, they're smart enough to figure out multiply that times ten or four, you know, and it becomes twelve thousand or so over the course. So but I don't say a huge difference. So. And how special is that gonna be? Game one of the season or first home game of the season, you're getting ready to run out the tunnel and they're announcing your your, your first regular season game here. How special is that moment gonna be for you? It'll be extremely special for me, I think. I mean, it'll, it'll be emotional, but um, it won't be my last game. I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it, it will. I mean, you know, it, it's something that. Uh, I mean, it's a beautiful facility. It really is, and, and we, you know, I, it sells itself. The building does. Now we just have to sell the great academics and, and the great people, and you know, the leadership at this college is phenomenal. I, I mean, that that was another selling point for me. Absolutely outstanding leadership. They're in great hands. I know that. You yeah, haven't coached in the the G Pack yet, but the, you played against a lot of these teams. Just so, what do you think about the, the G Pack in general? Well, I, I mean, I know it's really good. I have coached against the G Pack. I think early two thousands, maybe. I, I can't remember uh, exactly, but it was a short lived because they had added a couple more schools. Now Jamestown, that's a little different. For me, that would be a, a stretch for me. I'm going to have to get used to Jamestown, but they're in the conference, so you got to play. You know, I can't pick my schedule from that from the conference schedule. We, we have to play that. You know, the nine conference, I can pick and choose a little bit, but uh, you know, I, I every game is is different. I mean, every game is a new challenge. It's all about matchups, and we're going to have to do well our scouting. Cause, but I do know, you know, I know there's great coaches, the great players in this league. Said I, I've seen tape of some of those, and they're good. They really are, and we need to be just a little bit better than that, night in and night out. Coach, were you sold on coming back here right away, or did it take some process? You know, um, process? A good question. I, I'm pretty sold. I, I think it hit me more when I got here. Uh, when I visited, uh, came on a s weekend, I believe, was it Saturday, uh, with my wife. Yeah. That's all. And you kind of talked about your family, your wife, and everything. How big of the consideration did they play in the decision to come here? You, you don't know my wife. <laughs> <laughs> it, it made a you. I mean, they were big. I mean, there are every decisions made by with them considering that. So. And she's fantastic. So, yeah. Where's your wife from? She's from Waco. Okay. And her mother is still in uh, New York. So it, it's home for both of us. I have no family here in Nebraska. Flat, so, uh, but uh, she does. So it's home for both of us. Yeah. Uh, kind of going into your first season. You know, a lot of people will probably ask about expectations, but what are those expectations you have going into your first season here? My expectations is be competitive. 
that's the bottom line. If we can, if we can get to the level, you know, at halftime, if, if we're, you know, I expect us to still be in, in the game. I expect us with five minutes still be, you know, try to maybe play it every five minute increments or four minute increments and, and just play it like that. Um, but I, I, my expectations are to be as competitive as we can. And like I said, I don't like losing, so I have a little higher expectations to win the game. You talked about uh, Jamestown. Uh, it's a long bus ride from here. What was your longest bus ride back in, in uh, Naperville? Well, the conference is about two and a half hours, maybe. So, what? <laughs> Jamestown is beautiful. <laughs> Jamestown is beautiful. <laughs> 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 Two and a half hours in city traffic sometimes. Yeah, no, it wasn't city traffic, so I apologize for that. No. But it, it is nice to not have to tell somebody that I'll be with them and how long it is. It's an hour, you know, take you an hour, but it's only like 10 minutes. So around here, it's 10 minutes. Take you 10 miles to go, you know, for me. Um, I mean, they say 10 miles. They don't tell me in minutes. All right, any other media questions? Thank you, everybody. We'll move kind of in the yeah, thank social you all. time appreciate today. It. Appreciate again all the members of media showing up, and thanks for everybody who could attend today. And I guess say hi to folks.